Gabrielle forms in the next few days, becoming a hurricane. Our pattern here at home right now will help steer Gabrielle, but it also could be responsible for something in the Caribbean. Hi everybody, I'm Chief Meteorologist Chris Justice, keeping you posted along the way. Please let me know where you're watching from in the comment section right now. Like this video, subscribe to this channel for updates, and turn on notifications. I'm going to continue to keep you up to date on all things going on right now because, uh, let's face it, there's plenty going on. Let's look at what's in particular right now with the National Hurricane Center. Now giving us a high chance, not necessarily over the next 48 hours. This thing's got to get a little bit better organized, but over the next week, by this weekend, we'll likely have Gabrielle, if not sooner. Now, the sooner it's named, meaning the stronger that it is and the more likely it will turn early. The weaker it is, i.e. the European model, the more to the west it will go. So we need to watch this very closely for you folks in the Lesser Antilles, the Caribbean islands. We could be dealing with a tropical storm heading your way or at least getting very close to you in the days to come. Now, what's happening right now in the eastern half of the United States is what's going to ultimately steer Gabrielle, but it's also what could be responsible for steering something from the Caribbean up toward the north. The models have gone back and forth, kind of showcasing it, then not, then showcasing it, but it would not surprise me that given the fact that we're in a kind of September, late September, early October weather pattern in the east, that we'd have late September, early October hurricane mischief. Let me show you what I mean by that. So here at home, we have a front uh, or a series of fronts that have made it just so refreshing across the southeast. It's been so nice. Florida, you've not really been participating. To some degree, you have, uh, but really it's been toward the north with those crisp mornings and, and mild days. Well, we're going to start to warm things back up. Another stout front right here, Wednesday and a Thursday. This thing's going to be responsible for some serious cold coming into the upper Midwest. Could be in the freezing mark, uh, certainly frost territory. Uh, as we go toward late week. That front could also be responsible for some stronger storms going through Thursday afternoon, Thursday night here across the Western North Carolina mountains up through Virginia and the Appalachian Mountains. This could be some stormy activity going into Thursday. Now Friday, a secondary front's going to begin to move through. Notice these fronts just keep lining up with the fronts coming through in that progressive pattern. That's going to, if we can keep it up, help keep everything away from the United States. It's almost acting like a guard right here, just kind of guarding the door of the East Coast, which, hey, thumbs up, we're okay with. It's also going to lead to some cooler weather. High pressure locked in, giving you that late fall, early winter type look with a high building in. Let's look at the ridge, the troughs, and what I mean by that. So looking deeper in the forecast period, look at this big trough digging in. This is where your colder air digs in across the eastern half of the United States. And with it doubling down here, it knocks back the Bermuda high, which is ultimately what steers these things. And this trough looks like it's digged in through at least into next week. So uh, looking at it on the satellite, you see that trough digging in right here. That impinges upon or, you know, impacts the steering current to the Bermuda High and allows an opening right here to allow whatever's coming in to steer up toward the north. What is our benefit can be our detriment if, and that's if anything were to form here in the Western Caribbean or the Gulf, because it scoops it up and sends it to the north. What keeps everything away right in here can sometimes scoop stuff up and send it to the north, which would put Southwest Florida, uh, the Gulf of Florida, through all the Gulf states really on alert for very um, progressive September, October type weather versus main development region type activity. And, and that shift will happen naturally anyway, late September, but it looks like we're kind of there already. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So the European ensembles averaged all 51 different runs together, shows Gabrielle is very likely. That, that's where your attention goes right there. Yeah, pretty much a certainty we're gonna have Gabrielle, very likely to be a hurricane as well. But as we look at the Caribbean, notice some activity right in here. Most of the models here indicate something is trying to form right here. What is it and where does it go? Does something also form off the southeast coast? If it does, it would kind of get scooped up and go away. But I'd be more susceptible to being concerned about what's forming in here. You see it cross uh, above my head every once in a while. It's the heat content. It's a map that just shows the brighter colors. This area of the Caribbean is just 
primed, ready to go, rocked and ready. Uh, that's the heat content. It just basically spells fuel in the atmosphere, which would indicate that we need to watch it very closely. So uh, that high threat for Gabrielle above my head right there, that's indicated well by the models. But look at this. You see those red colors above my head? That just shows you the fuel that is available. And if something does form there in the Caribbean, it would likely get scooped up and could be a threat to the United States. The models have shown it in some form or fashion several different times, several different ways. Today's models thankfully dialed it back. Let's hope that stays the course and we have nothing to worry about. But I do want to put that on your radar, so to speak. Here's the trough digging in, very active progressive pattern here across the eastern United States. Meanwhile, Gabrielle is forming out here. This is the European model. Weaker goes west. Remember that theory, right? Uh, weaker, weaker, weaker is now going west, west, west. This puts a tropical storm very close to the Caribbean islands right here. So we need to watch this very closely for you. Do you get on some big waves? At least some, some you know, possible gusty winds in here? You know, it's possible. This is when the European starts to steer this thing to the north. But I want to let you know, Barbuda, areas to the northern part of the Caribbean island chain, we got to watch it in Lesser Antilles, all right? This would also put Bermuda at risk for a major hurricane for the 65,000 folks that live there. Let me know where you're watching from right now. Anybody watching from Bermuda? Turks and Caicos, Bahamas, of course, you got a, a big hurricane we're hoping steers away. It looks like it will, but we got to watch it. we got to watch it. We also need to watch the Caribbean. Just keep an eye on that. Thankfully, the models are not too aggressive at anything. But it's an area that would need to be watched. The GFS model here, indicating our troughiness, our progressive pattern across the eastern half of the United States. Meanwhile, Gabrielle forming right here. GFS kind of blows this up way earlier. This wasn't even a hurricane on the European until it was over here. So because the GFS blows it up earlier, stronger goes north. Look at this thing starting to curve right here. Big hurricane over Bermuda, according to the GFS model. Let's look back at the Caribbean. Did it show anything in the Caribbean? It's got some stuff across Central America. Just some stuff, we'll call it. <laughs> um, you see a little low cropping up right in there. You see that right there, 1,005? That's an early identification, an early look at um, what could be low pressure there. I also want to draw your attention to how Gabrielle gets close to the United States after a little bit. Look at that little slingshot back into northeast Maine. New Hampshire? I mean, look at this. I mean, this would get annoyingly close to Boston. I mean, come on now. What's happening here is this ridge builds back in aggressively. Uh, it seems a little aggressive to me, but this would push that a little bit farther to the west toward the United States toward the end of this period, which the last run of the GFS safely kind of navigates that east of Nova Scotia. Uh, European, let's zoom that back out. Aaron goes up and away safely, no problems. Got another wave right out there behind it, but doesn't really cause any problems. Let's look at the European ensembles because this is worth noting that there's something to watch out here. Big cluster, weaker goes west. Several of these models do show landfall and or a direct hit of a tropical storm or a hurricane over the Lesser Antilles. Roughly 15 of them. So we got to watch that, all right? Most of them, though, do curve this out and away from the United States. So Caribbean islands, Lesser Antilles would be kind of monitor mode probably coming, all right? So, hey, we're watching it. We're not acting yet. We're not concerned about it yet, but we're monitoring it. We're dialed in. We're checking back, okay? For Turks and Caicos, probably not monitor mode yet. Eastern United States, you know, keep checking back in, but I, I don't see much in the way of problems. But as we look at the low pressure in this, um, uh, let's look at that one more time. Let's see. We go in here like this. This is the 18Z. This gives us our early look at that. Let's go back to 12Z. You got a cluster of these that majority of them goes north of the island chain, but there's there's a semblance of them that shows direct hits Caribbean over Puerto Rico and then moving out and up. There's also a couple of these European model runs. Look at the Caribbean, 1002 right there. That's what the GFS showed you a minute ago. Then spilling into the Gulf, there's a contingency of the European that also shows that similarly toward the middle of the month. 
So later than Gabrielle, but worth watching, okay? So that's an area that we'll be dialed in on and we'll be watching closely. So simply put, we're confident, at least with the models right now, cautiously optimistic that Gabrielle is going to turn out to see. That steering current's got 10 days to, to change. We hope that it does, and we hope it stays locked in where it's at. So we'll, we'll keep watching it, but simply put, we're optimistic what we're seeing. But then we also have to watch it, what the models are telling us or not telling us right now. Uh, it would be you know, not uncommon for us to, to not see a threat. Sometimes those Caribbean and those Gulf threats can sometimes escalate or flare up and then quickly move to the north as a strong system. So that'll be what we'll be dialed in on and watching soon. Folks, please let me know in the comment section where you're watching from. Hope you had a great Labor Day weekend. What a great weekend it was across many, many. I uh, had some rain for part of my weekend, but uh, the rest of it was fantastic. Let me know where you're watching from right now. What's on your mind tomorrow night at this time? I will... Um, be giving you some shout outs so you can see it in the morning uh, as you can see it as you're watching wherever you're watching from right now i do love seeing where you're watching from all across the world as this channel brings in all of us <laughs> in many different states uh continents countries uh nationalities and uh, that means the world to me so thank you for being here and thank you for watching i will keep you posted